a normal oh, conversation. I'm more excited about Annie Sprinkle. Oh, Annie Sprinkle. How could I forget? She's awesome. Annie Sprinkle. Yeah. Uh, when I first started editing Stag, or I was the managing editor, that was my first job at a, a, a place called Swank Publications. Uh, Annie Sprinkle had a regular column. And... Um, it was very creative, you know. She, she's so awesome. Yeah, you, you know, she had all these crazy sex people in her life, you know, people who were just into all kinds of things and un, unimaginable things like amputee was, fucking, yeah, amputee that fucking, whole um, speculum um, 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 show. rainbow showers, which is when you vomit on the person. You know, again, something I'm not. Whoa, that's a nice way to say it. I always heard Roman showers, rainbow showers. But what if you ate Skittles? And then puked on. Something. I don't think Skittles had been invented at the time, or okay. you know, they had. I wasn't mm-hmm. aware of them, but I'm sure that they had. You know, all their different things to eat to get <laughs> the right color regurgitation. But um, you know, we didn't cover that much. You know, in sexuality, that was one. All right, there's a scene in Beaver Street where you know Annie Sprinkles' columns do, and she has to go to London to do some performance art piece or to Amsterdam maybe. And you know, she calls me on the phone to dictate her columns so she doesn't miss her deadline. She's <laughs> very professional. She did not like to miss her deadline. So she's dictating this column to me about a fly crawling on her clitoris and turning her on and she calls this insexuality and you know it was like you know i'm on the phone typing this out and uh you know she she says you know the fly crawled on my clit and like you know i type it and repeat it back to her and um yeah oh i like the way you talk dirty she tells me and uh yeah it's just you know it was fun and (laughs) when you met annie sprinkle you know like I saw pictures of her and I saw movies and, you know, I was certainly familiar with her body of work. And, you know, in my mind, I just saw this enormous woman and, you know, she comes in and she's this petite little thing and, you know, covered with tattoos. And like, I see her and I just get totally tongue tied because, you know, she was so friendly and so, and so bubbly and so warm. And I think about like this movie where she shoves 15 billiard balls up a guy's ass and then she fist fuck him, fists fucks him up to the elbow and it just oh what do you say to this woman <laughs> it's not like you need to shake her hand <laughs> yeah yeah I, I probably shook her hand at some point and i ran into her not that long ago at a photography show in manhattan i think she might have had a couple of pieces in it mm-hmm. and you know now she's Middle-aged Annie Sprinkle, like I love. Yeah, I've got a lot I've of had us the are blessing of meeting her and her bosoms, and, her, and I just want to put my head on her pillowy bosom and just hang out with her for a while. Yeah, and you know she uh, she's got the old D's and then some. Oh yeah, and yeah. she's a breast cancer survivor too. 